from London, England, extracting the signal from the noise. It's the Cube covering Discover 2015. Brought to you by Enterprise. Now your hosts, John Furrier and Dave Vellante. Okay, welcome back everyone. We are here live in London, England for HP Enterprise Discover, hashtag HPE Discover. Uh, for live coverage of theCUBE, our flagship program from SiliconANGLE, where we go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier with my co-host Dave Vellante. Our next guest is Alistair Winner, VP of Technology Services Support with HP Enterprise, CUBE alum, fifth time. This is the sixth time on theCUBE. Absolutely. Actually filling in for Scott Weller this time, but that's okay, because you, you know the drill. I do. Welcome back. Very glad to be here. Good so your you first official CUBE as part of the HPE. Correct. The official HPE. Official. Um, what's it like? What's, what's the new vibe? I mean, obviously the official date was November 1st. You were acting as a merged company, or a split company prior. But I mean, that's all. When you're split, you're split. You're now on your own. What's it like? Give us an update. What's the vibe internally like? What's the customer scene like for you guys? It's, it's really, really exciting, uh, quite frankly. It's, uh, yeah, we've had um, a year of anticipation and finally it's happened. And uh, you know, it's, it's really forcing us to focus on the priorities for our business. Uh, so we get a lot more uh, visibility and time with Meg and the executive team. Um, you know, our focus is very, very clear on the four transformation areas, and um, you know, it's, uh, it's it's just it's just really exciting, really exciting. And how about the customer environment? You know, last time we talked, we were talking about the transition from reference architectures of old to reference architectures of new. And we heard from Martin that you know the the data disruption is happening, you got hybrid cloud uh, happening big time. So a lot of these things are coming home to really be mainstream, all these big yes. hyped up trends, certainly hybrid cloud. What's the, what's the conversations like there with your customers? So you're absolutely right. I mean, we, we announced the four transformation areas uh, in Las Vegas and we've had six months really to, to test those with our customers and uh, it's very clear that they really hit the mark, very, very clear that they're um, hitting the sweet spot uh, there. And if you, if you look at um, hybrid as an example, I think it's, uh, it's been clear that uh, you know, customers really aspire to move in that direction, but they lack some confidence. Um, you know, they're looking for partners that can credibly help them move in that direction you know, while maintaining stability and availability. Uh, so really, you know, we've had the opportunity using the transformation areas to construct the, you know, the solution set inside of Hewlett Packard Enterprise. It's really been the rallying cry, quite frankly, for our, for our business. It's sort of forced our individual business units to start working together uh, to look at use cases around those transformation areas that we can now start to engage our, our, our customers here in, uh, in Discover. All right, so one of the things we're hearing here at the show is you guys are unpacking the transformation areas that was announced at, uh, in Vegas. What are you guys announcing at the show? What new products do you have? Anything new? Share with us some data. Well, what, what we're doing um, here is, is taking our customers through the transformation area journeys. So rather than previously where we've really just shown the products that we've, that we've had, here what we're doing is we're, um, uh, yeah, we're exploring the journey that a customer can take to, to for example, uh, hybrid, uh, hybrid IT. Uh, so the, you know, the floor is laid out such that you know, we, we sort of walk a customer through that, uh, through that journey. Um, in terms of announcements, I guess the big announcement uh, here in my area of focus has been uh, HPE Synergy, which is our new composable infrastructure. It's occupying a significant piece of real estate on the, uh, on the floor. Um, and that's a, you know, that's a solution that I've had the, the, the privilege of working on uh, in conjunction with my product colleagues, so we're really excited. That so we, we saw that announcement, what is the, the Synergy thing? Because that's really kind of a big deal. That's the big news this morning. So it's a, it's a new architecture, so we're introducing a new architecture, and HP has a history of introducing new technology architectures to the market. Uh, so it's very fitting, actually, that as we launch the new company, we, we actually launch a new, a new architecture. And it's, uh, and it's really designed to, to try and bridge the, the sort of two modes of IT that we see operating today. So traditional um, sort of systems of record and uh, the new style, which are more systems of engagement or innovation. Um, so it's a truly converged system. Um, it's not something that you, uh, you sort of build in a, in a factory from separate components. It's a truly integrated system. And out of the box, it's uh, infrastructure as code. 
So it's, uh, it's a truly software-defined uh, system. So thinking about that sort of new hybrid, you guys call it the new style of IT, you mentioned systems of record, systems of engagement. How are those worlds being serviced? How are they coming together? And what's the architecture underneath them? And how does it evolve? So I think, uh, it's, it's, I mean, it's a great question and really that's the, that's the challenge that our customers are wrestling with because uh, you know, typically traditional IT systems, you know, it's, it's all been about cost. You're getting the cost out, uh, running it as efficiently as, uh, as you can. Uh, whereas systems of engagement, it's all about bringing innovation and it's about constant change. So, the, you know, the great thing about uh, Synergy is it, uh, you know, it can cope with both modes. It's, it's very, very flexible in, in, in its architecture. And the way we bridge that, uh, you know, those two worlds is through you know, uh, software defined and infrastructure as, as code. And regardless of whether you're, you know, you're running a monolithic app and you're updating it once a year or you're running a, um, a cloud native app you know, in a container with microservices that you're updating three times a day, you, know, you can still benefit from automation and orchestration that that platform provides. Now, so how does solutions like Synergy change the service model? We've touched on this in the past a little bit, um, and it's here now. Yes. Uh, it's changing dramatically, both within HP, within your customers, in the channel. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yes, absolutely. So, so you're absolutely right. Uh, I guess classically in, in traditional IT, this, we were the support organization. You know, we turned up when things failed or we would pro, uh, try to prevent failures from, from happening. Um, with the new style um, and with products like Synergy, although clearly we will still offer those types of services, our focus is more around what I call customer success. So it's about how, you know, how do we help a customer really maximize the value from that, from that investment. Um, so, uh, for example, with, uh, with solutions like our infrastructure automation uh, solution, you know, we're, we're offering almost like a guru bar experience to, uh, to customers. Uh, not, not that they call up because something's broken, but because they want some help or advice or, or guidance. So we're really, you know, we're really trying to move our focus away from being just the, the break fix guys and really you know, turn to look at uh, customer success and, and, and customer value. So that's, you're essentially, if I interpret it right, sharing, transferring knowledge to your customers as to how they can provide services to their organization. Yes. So there's really strategies around doing that, ways to exploit the architecture and the infrastructure. Yes, yes yeah, it, it, exactly. And we can, uh, we can do that in a number of ways. I mean, our consulting, organization has a, a very structured process to really get customers started. But once they're in a, you know, a continuous delivery or DevOps mode, yeah, they're still looking for advice and, and guidance. And yes, you know, there are communities that can provide that. Um, but also customers are, you know, are turning, uh, turning to us. And they like it because we offer one number to call. You know, there's, it's very, very simple, very, uh, very easy engagement, uh, engagement model. Now how about data center care? We were we were around when you guys announced that a couple years ago. Um, trying to remember the exact date, time frame. It was it's about three years. Yeah, okay. Yeah, about three years. Uh, and, and, and that's been evolving. Recently you made some moves to target service providers with, with data center care, extending that offering. Yes. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, we talked about that um, in the past couple of sessions where I've, uh, I've joined you. And we, I mean, we realized that um, customers that were running hyperscale environments had a different set of service expectations and needs to a classic enterprise. Uh, they were far more self-sufficient on hardware. The impact of a failure of a, of a compute node was very, very low. In fact, um, uh, not a problem at all. Uh, so we, 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 we took the time to learn from our sort of custom engagements with tier one service providers and we created a, a service, a tailored service that we call data center care for hyperscale. So it has the same basic value proposition. It's still one number to call. Uh, yeah, we're there to help um, uh, respond to problems when, they're, when they happen and to, and to prevent problems from occurring. Um, but the, 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 the experience dials have been tuned and changed to, to, to really meet the requirements of someone that's running IT at scale, you know, homogeneous IT at scale, software defined. And um, uh, we launched it a couple of weeks ago. We've had very, very, uh, very strong interest in, uh, in that. So, what do the hyperscale guys want? Do they, do they not want the, the guy at the genius bar? Do they want somebody to sort of go fetch stuff for them? Or do they want like the super genius? <laughs> well actually they, they, they do want the super genius, <laughs> but, they, but they're only going to call the super genius when they have a really 
big problem. Gnarly. I mean, these guys know, they know their infrastructure as well as we do, quite frankly. Uh -huh. And in many cases, we've actually designed the infrastructure with them. So technically they get it. But if, if there's something wrong, because it's a homogeneous environment at scale, it's going to be it's going to be wrong everywhere. So they want to sort of parachute in the experts. Um, so you know the, the number of incidents they place with us is is much much lower. But when they call, they really really need our help. And and you you segment the service provider market. Let's say tier one, tier two, tier three. Right? It's a sort of yes. fair, common, you know, uh, uh, model. And w when we talk about tier one, hyperscale guys, are we talking about just a handful of people, or is it a broader set than you know, three companies? I mean, what do we, <laughs> well, how do you define tier one? So tier one, I mean, so we have our own uh, own definition. Actually, there's 14 or 15, I think, that we that we referenced this year. Um, uh, some of them aren't addressable to us because they self-build. Um, um, but it's really based on the uh, you know the volume of of, uh, of servers or compute nodes that they uh, uh, that they buy. But actually, I would say. Um, you know, when you look at the tier twos and the tier threes, they're looking at the tier ones really at, you know, th that's the best in class, that's the, that's the um, experience that they want to create, that's the way they want to operate. Um, but clearly, uh, many of them don't have the, you know, the, uh, the expertise or the, or the scale to design their own servers, so they're looking to us to, uh, you know, to, to design. Um, and uh, they want our help to, you know, to operate that environment. So talk about the, f the um the vibe of the show, and the products and the, the stories that are being told here. And what is the top storyline? in terms of When you go to a customer, what's the narrative? There's a lot of hybrid cloud, the four transformation areas, but what's the bottom line for them? Are they, are they in starter mode? Are they in, hey, we don't even know what the reference architecture is. It seems like a moving train right now, the hybrid cloud, because it's advancing so fast. And certainly the news of the Azure cloud yes, relationship. Yes. You have uh, a lot of software enabling. What's the core message to your customers when you say, hey, what are you guys doing with cloud? Are you going to, what cloud are you? What do you, how do you answer that question? How do you go, well, here's where we are. Well, I guess, I mean, our, our charter and really the, the, you know, the real focus of transformation to, to hybrid is about getting the right mix. And you'll see this across the Integration, floor. Integration, right? It's, it's, about, it's about finding the right mix for the customer. Yeah. And every customer yeah. has a different set of, uh, of needs. And really what we're presenting is, um, you know, it's a series of steps that a customer can jump um, you know, into or out of as, uh, as, they, uh, as they see fit. So no longer are we just saying, well, you know, here are all of our products, you know, you, you come and select the ones that you... Uh, well, you can go end to end at HP if you want to go all HP, but you might have a customer saying, hey, I got three cloud providers, or well, I have... Well, exactly, exactly. And um, I mean, a really good example of this is with our flexible capacity offer, which uh, you know, is part of data center care. Um, you know, that's been a, a way that we've been able to you know, really present a customer with a cloud-like experience, but on-premise. So you know, they, they select their hardware configuration and we basically sell it to them as a, as a, as a service. How's that been going, good? And that's been going really, really, really well. Really big success? Really, really well, because you, know, you don't have any the, the latency or security yeah. issues of the, of the public cloud. But with our partnership with Azure, you know, we're adding the ability for a customer not only to extend their IT, on a pay-as-you-go basis on-prem, but yeah. also through uh, through a cloud provider like. Dave and I were Azure. talking on the intro this package this morning. Our editorial was HP's been good at partnering from day one, but also has been a great fast follower. Yes, and integration seems to be the core value right now because that's what customers don't want: the rip and replace, or you know, exactly throw everything out with the baby with the bathwater kind of thing. Yes, so I agree. is that kind of the, the feeling? It is, and, and, and really we're trying to sort of abstract the complexity away, hide the seams away, and you know, a, a customer will decide to what, to what extent are they interested in um, you know, managing that complexity themselves, or whether they want to partner, uh, and, and certainly Hewlett Packard Enterprise is the place that we Alistair, have to put the come. bumper sticker on HP Discover this year. What does it say on there? Don't say accel accelerate next, because that's the <laughs> that's the official tagline. <laughs> I want some original Cube alumni thinking here. What's the what's the theme this year? You, in your words, what's on the bumper sticker this year? Well, for me, I I I, I really believe that uh, yeah, right mix is the is is the key here. So for hybrid IT, right mix, it's our job to really find that uh, combination for 
for our customers. So that's what I put on my bumper sticker. Great, thanks for coming on, sharing your insight. Really appreciate You're it. You're very welcome. Obviously delivering and putting the, the solutions together. Really the key growth market right now. Thanks for sharing. I'm John Furrier with Dave Vellante. This is theCUBE. We'll be right back with more live coverage from London after this short break. <laughs>